this is a very complex project. There's a million moving parts. It's all got to work right for everything to happen and all the interconnecting pieces to work right together. This project is all about uh, recovering resources, making electrical energy, uh, lowering their carbon footprint, and purchasing as few utility commodities as possible. The processes that the waste solids go through are thickening, anaerobic digestion, dewatering, and drying, and then incineration. And the anaerobic digesters generate biogas, and you can see some waste biogas coming out of the flare right now. You see a lot of projects that have a lot of these different components, but it's very rare that all these components come together into a single project. This is, this is head and shoulders above any other project that I've worked on in, in terms of order of magnitude. The engineering really is a creative art as well as a science. Toby and his crew faced tremendous logistical challenges throughout the project. And uh, it was really neat how they kept on coming up with creative solutions. It, it was a double-edged sword. The, the, the best part was being able to find solutions to, to take that line on a page and make it something real uh, in terms of design. Um, but under the timeline that we were under, it was stressful because there were days when we didn't know where the trail was going to go. The one moment that sticks in my brain right now was coming up with, with compensatory storage. And we were running into issues with right-of-way, we were running issues, issues with not enough upland area, and we ended up finding it with just some grading changes. We thought for sure that we were going to have to ask for a variance on that. It started out for us as a repair project, just to repair the existing uh, facility that was here. And then the decision was made to go ahead and, and demo it, raise it, and build something new. We really wanted to make it a better experience for all users, not only the people who you know, pass through the facility every day, but also the workers who are inside. So we really wanted to incorporate a lot more, a lot more natural light. So doing so, we essentially stripped off all the facade putting in new storefront systems that allowed a lot of that natural light to not only reach the terminal, but even uh, so on into the uh, bus concourse area. If we could make the site safer and a place to be other than transit, that's what we're going for. And I think we achieved it. Be ready to be part of a team, because a project like this doesn't get done by yourself. It's, it's teamwork. A project this complicated, there were a lot of players, but everybody had the same goal in mind and collaborated and got it done. You could see up above where I'm at, hanging out of those utilities on the bridge was a challenge. And it took a lot of engineering innovation, a lot of trial and error, a really a way that uh, it's been very used very rarely, if any, throughout the United States. As part of the design, we had to take into account not only the expansion and contraction of the bridge structure itself and the steel casing pipe, but also that differential of the expansion and contraction of the HDPE pipe. And so we had to implement measures, and that's, that's where this gets into a little bit more of the unique design of this. We had to implement some measures to accommodate that. It, it really has been an amazing process watching this incrementally move back and forth and all the different types of challenges that the construction company had, the engineers had, putting this project together. It is an engineering marvel, no question. So the city of Cheyenne um, serves a population of about 75,000 people with water and sewer services. Back in the 60s, um, we installed these um, large diameter pipelines. Um, over time, erosion had occurred, and so essentially there was so much erosion that we looked down just to check our pipelines and we saw the anchor block. And that's when we knew we had a critical issue and we had to mitigate that as soon as possible. There's a lot of different options that were explored. The concrete mats were one of them. We extended the, the mats uh, across the river directly over the pipelines to prevent some of that um, 
river bottom scour and erosion. It should be a system that will last for decades. In my mind, it was always, how are we going to do this? So it was, a, it was a, a incredible challenge. And then as the process unraveled, you came more and more alive with ideas and, and how to do it. One of my you know, go-to lines was, it's easier to build a bridge over a 5,000-foot chasm than it is to build it over a yard with only about 15, 20 feet of clearance. The trick was to try to get the old trusses out and get the new structure in. All along during the preliminary phase of the design, we were looking at what's called launching, actually building the structure offline and then pulling it into place. This is not something that someone constructs every day in this situation. It's not like a, a river crossing or a roadway crossing. I love that through a lot of community effort, stakeholder effort, um, passion for the area, passion for getting it right, that we have such a beautiful project. People say it's just a street. Well, I don't believe it's just a street. With the urban environment, the number of pedestrians downtown, it was just something new every day as far as getting a project like this completed. For the project, uh, the entire corridor was shut down to through traffic. This corridor sees roughly 120,000 to 130,000 pedestrians per day and vehicles per day on the cross streets. So uh, we did have to work the phasing in the intersections a little bit. Five years from now, when everybody's kind of walking up and down Nickel Mall, what they're going to realize is they're walking in a mile long, 12 block long urban garden. And that's, I think, the best part of the whole project. The raised tabletop intersections, the kind of straight, clear walkways um, from beginning to end make it a great pedestrian friendly experience for those who are living, working, and playing downtown. <laughs>